I was expecting some kind of October surprise, but this one was not on my election 2020 disaster bingo card. Now, if you haven't heard by now, you just heard Sean say it, but yesterday it was announced that Hope Hicks, the aide to President Trump, tested positive for coronavirus, the virus that causes COVID-19. And then late last night or early this morning, or at that time when no one but the neighborhood stray cats and the 24-hour news pundits are awake, it was announced that Donald Trump himself and First Lady Melania Trump have also tested positive for coronavirus. Well, well, well. Just two days after that snarky comment during the debate about Biden always wearing the biggest mask he's ever seen, now Trump and his wife are in isolation for the next 14 days because they both have coronavirus. Well, well, well. I hope they be best. No, seriously, I'm I'm not going to cast aspersions because that's unprofessional and it's unchristian. And my daddy has already texted me and said that I cannot say mean things about this on the radio today, so I won't. What I will do is try to talk through the possible scenarios now that this interesting turn of events has unfolded. So, okay, let's say Trump recovers. I know people just groan, but hear me out because it's entirely possible that he will. What's going to happen politically is that his cult members will declare him Messiah. They will erect a statue of him that they'll put somewhere. It'll undoubtedly be cast in gold and they'll start worshiping the statue. Okay, that's his cult. Politically, the GOP will demand complete obedience to Trump. His poll numbers will probably rise a bit if he recovers and he'll win some swing states that he might have been in a tight race with Biden in. I think that's entirely possible. But here's what's worse than Trump winning another term. Mike Pence becomes the heir apparent to the GOP mantle in 2024. And Pence will have had enough time by then to have practiced acting like a human being in front of a camera long enough to convince Trump voters that he is the best man to carry on the Trump doctrine. Pence will already have the white conservative evangelical vote locked in, so he'd be more than halfway there with the 43% now that support Trump that could rise. The party will be firmly Trump's if he recovers, though, like, and I mean for the rest of human existence in the United States, the GOP will forever be Trump's GOP if he recovers from coronavirus. They may even rename it TGOP for Trump's grand old party. They would mint coins with that man's face on it and demand that his face be on a paper currency, on all the paper currency. They would be insufferable, even more insufferable than they are now. But let's say Trump succumbs to the disease caused by the virus, COVID-19. Now, it's true that we only have to deal with Pence for a few weeks before the election if that happens. But Trump would become a martyr to his sycophants, who will declare that he was poisoned by the Antifas and the Black Lives Matters and the socialists, and probably by Joe Biden himself for uh, as revenge for saying mean things about his son, Hunter, on the debate stage. And as far as the election is concerned, either Pence would win the election due to the voters paying homage to their martyred Messiah, Trump, or the election is disrupted so much by Trump supporters who at that point would believe that they're carrying out a holy crusade to punish those who may try to end his divinely appointed legacy from continuing at the ballot box. And Congress would have to decide the election or the Supreme Court. Or you know what? Maybe Jesus himself will finally stop messing around and come on down here and put us sinners out of all our misery and just tell us, I meant for you to do the socialisms before casting those who repudiated the holy socialisms into the pits of hell. Listen, a girl can drink. And anyway, Sean, Wyatt, Ryan, and myself, Abdus, me, the dog, we'll all be among the saved doing the holy socialisms in the new heaven. Seriously, though. If Trump develops and succumbs to COVID-19, please don't assume that this would bode well for a Biden win in November or for an uneventful election day, because it won't. I think it will be the exact opposite. But okay, let's say I'm wrong 
about Trump's poll numbers improving if he recovers. He recovers and more people hate him because they realize that, oh my God, this virus is real and it's serious and he should have been wearing a mask and he lied to us and he told us we didn't have to wear a mask and we believed him and look what happened. He may well lose the election, but don't expect an apology from Trump. Don't expect him to admit that he was wrong about anything and don't expect him to go away quietly either. His remaining supporters won't go away quietly, that's for sure. The thing I can't gauge, though, is what the GOP will do if Trump recovers and loses the election, doesn't take any responsibility for how he lied in his messaging regarding the pandemic. Will the party leadership be more forceful in assisting he stop sabotaging medical and scientific experts' advice with the time that he has left in office? Will they get that regular old folks who don't have access to the best medical care in the country might need a little more help than that measly $1,200 check that one time? Will they direct that his phone be taken away at night to keep him from rage tweeting in the bathroom until January 20th? I don't know. I can't call it. And let's say that I'm also wrong about all of this and Biden wins in November in a landslide, no matter what happens to Trump, because enough people are finally seeing Trump contracting coronavirus as the final step in the scales being removed from their eyes so they could finally see him for the lying fraud and con man that he always was. Well, you're still probably not going to get another relief check from Congress. You're not going to get masks and gloves and disinfectant from a Biden government, although they could produce it for us under the Defense Production Act pretty easily. And you're still not going to get Medicare for all, the Green New Deal, the police or the military defunded and anti-fascist and anti-racist protesters are still going to be assaulted by police and locked up while white supremacist militias will continue to run them over with cars, fight them, assault them with weapons and kill them. I know I've been quite glib with this issue today, and I hope I at least made you laugh a little bit on this crazy Friday. But in all seriousness, y'all, Trump contracting coronavirus does not bring us any closer to freedom, liberation, justice or anything good, no matter how it plays out. It's just another twist in this never ending saga that is how to struggle for liberation in a system that is collapsing in on itself, but fighting like hell to stay alive. That's what we've got to do, y'all. Fight like our lives depend on it for our liberation, because they do. So the struggle for us continues, comrades, and we struggle to win. Follow Luke Mon Nation on Patreon.com slash Luke Mon Nation for lots of great content.